so you can see here we've got we've got three racks yeah okay now in here we've got power that feeds our rack off of the controller this feeds the controller and I've got to replace that wire right there and the terminal block so for that reason we have to shut all three racks down while we replace that now we don't have a breaker specifically identified for this wire this power coming in but it looks like it goes up there over and into that box right there and then it's going to go from that box i'm guessing over to this this one over here one of these two right there either the one on the left or the one on the right so we're going to take it apart we're going to follow it and we're going to identify it hopefully we're going to do it together because i haven't even opened that box yet and we're going to see i did however look in these boxes the other day and i couldn't find and identify which one would be for the controller none of them are labeled controller because the compressor power comes in somewhere else yeah man compressors are over here and this power's coming from from somewhere else see now i don't necessarily like poking around in these boxes here but we're going to a little bit okay so my power's coming in here right there so we just want to find what that's going to which is doesn't really seem like it's going to be easily possible got all this crap in the way oof, oof. so it's these wire nuts right here okay let's see all right i grabbed one of them okay so they go into this one that's back here the second one behind so they go right into this one right there which is when you look through the wall it's going to be it should be the second pipe on the other side we'll have one we're going to have one and then we're going to have three others there we go right up there one and then three others so out of the three others it's the one on the right so out of those four it's the second one to the right Yes, that's correct, because if you look here, that first one, it goes up in that way. Second from the left, looking at it this way, it goes, I guess I was wrong, it goes that way. Comes over here into this panel, the lights panel. Ridiculous, it's gonna have to be this one. Now to find out which one of those it is, we've gotta take this panel off and look in there. In certain instances, when the electrical's all the way across the building. I'll have a, an electrician figure it out if I can't figure out which breaker it is. All right, the panel's off. Wires come down. My stupid wires. They go through the box and down into there. So. Okay, so three of them, three of them go to the left because we, so we got six, six conductors and a ground in this set right here three of them go that way the other three loop back up and go back around into here the ones that i need go th go that way so that's stupid look look at this they go down here they loop around they come back and go back up into here ain't that so stupid all right, so it is one of these. It's going to have to be this one. Let's uh, double check. Let's get an amp draw. Let's see, this controller, this controller has all of them in it. See, we got C, B, and C. So when I shut breaker off and power, shut power off to this, all three are going to shut off. See what we're pulling for amps. Zero amps on that one. 4.83, 2.88, and zero. 4.83, 2.88, and zero. 4.8, 2.8, zero. 
All right, that's my breaker. You guys ready? Let's do it. Mm, mm, mm. So what are these things doing? I don't know. You got me. Let's turn this hose off. Hurry up and get this done. Damn, this one burnt, burnt the hell up, man. Damn. It's a wonder this thing is still working. Some, one of them is loose. I don't know which one. Oh, oh, I see. You see, you see that nut right there? That one up there? That's the, probably the loose one. Now, I can't really film doing this because, I mean, I only got two hands. So, sorry. This is my new. This is my new one, though. So that's the one I'm going with. Everything shut off. Yeah, it's all off now. Where the hell did my, my tool go? There it is. Now these ones I don't want to mix up. I, I cannot mix them up. Like... I think if I leave them kind of in that same orientation, not move them, I won't mix them up. Let's see, I'll take a video, picture of this too. All right, I got them. So I'm gonna put it up in there like that and screw it to it. Gotta be careful with the drill because the impact drill, because it broke that top one. I was careful with that one though. All right, I got them all in and I went back over all of them and tightened them good. So I'm ready to bring them back on. I got all my compressors off, I believe. Well, no, not this one. Okay. So, I'm gonna turn them off because I don't want them all to come on at one time. I, I already turned all those ones off. So now I'm gonna come power up my control. Over here. Ready? All right. All right, E2 is coming back on. Let's turn on one compressor from each suction. We need the, yeah, one compressor from each suction group. So this is group one plus 18. Okay, so all these are plus 18 SST. All right, one compressor there. Over here, we got turn that on. These are all one group as well. Nice. I like that we got a compressor that started over here. Got another one. Another one. This one here was off. So I put this little thing there so I didn't forget. Let's see if I can bring on a compressor for this one. Yeah. Oh, condenser. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh man, these are some quiet compressors, man. Wow. That's cool, man. What? What just happened?
something got quiet. So what, are all my circuits in defrost or something? Looks like it. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. They don't need to be in defrost. All right, so here, turn all my compressors on now. Everything's on. And I'm gonna take everything out of defrost. All right. Maybe I don't know everything that I should know, but I'm doing something here. All right, I log in. This is the common password for most of these controllers. It's a low level access password, so you can get in there and uh, do what you gotta do. All right, so refrigeration. All right, so they're not in defrost, they're just off. I've got one here that's in defrost. We'll take that one out. And then, uh, in manual mode. All right, that one's on. They're all gonna be coming on now. They're just off because they were they were off. So see, they, they start coming back online. That's good. All right, everything's back. I think we kind of were, we were only off for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, but you can see how the temperatures are affected. Beer case went up to 55. Everything's almost in the 50s. I let the manager know before I started doing this what I was doing, so we're in okay shape. She, at least she knew. So most everything is, is back on now. Last couple ones will be coming on. So that's it. It's pretty freaking hot in here. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Y'all have a good day, great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.